Hello, hello guys and happy Monday and happy Valentine's Day. I've got my like hot earrings on for you guys today just to show that I love you, that I care about you, no matter who you are, no matter where you are, know that you're loved. And that love, oh my gosh, if it's not coming from you, don't forget to love yourself, right? We don't need to have somebody else in our life on this day. Always remember, you can love yourself, the most important love you'll ever have. So for those of you who don't know me yet, my name is Karen Del Maestro. I'm your health and boundaries coach, breast cancer and BRCA2 thriver. And I specialize in working with breast cancer survivors after treatment is over. Now, today, as is typical on Valentine's Day, we're going to talk about chocolate right it's kind of traditional um and often we feel like especially after breast cancer that we shouldn't and should by the way it's a judgment word that we shouldn't have any desserts that we shouldn't have any sweets that sugar is bad for us and you know there's so many things out there and i it's a question i often get asked actually karen does sugar cause cancer well Oh, there's a lot to unpack and all of that to start with, right? Well, first of all, let me share my philosophy, right? I don't believe in black and white when it comes to our food. Um, I know after 20 plus years in working in the health and wellness industry that diets don't work. So if we're trying to stick to one specific diet, it doesn't work. Let me share some statistics with you as to why I know that for sure. Other than my personal experience of watching so many women on that vicious diet cycle, right? There's actually a statistic that 98% of women, and I'm speaking to women at the moment, that's slightly different for men, but 98% of women who go on a diet and lose weight within two years will gain back that weight and more. I think that's a pretty strong statistic for us to understand that diets don't work, right? So if I were to say to you, hey, don't have any sugar, is it the same kind of mindset as that diet mentality? I can't have, I can't do this, I can't do that. It is, right? It's it's where we're feeling deprived, where we're feeling that we can't have and we can't enjoy. And there's one thing that I know for sure, to breast cancer, right? We want to actually enjoy our life, right? If I'm wrong, tell me in the chat, but we want to actually enjoy our life. And sometimes that means indulging a little bit and having a little bit of chocolate or having um, a beverage, an alcoholic beverage, or having, um, you know, some potato chips in my case, that's my damn fault. You know, it's not about not being able to have, but it's about this thing called moderation okay and i dive into that a lot more in in my programs and in my free challenges and things like that so i'm not going to go into that today today i want to speak to specifically chocolate right because the right kind of chocolate can actually be beneficial for your health who knew did. That's why I'm here sharing with you guys. Do a little happy dance right now, right? No, it's not all chocolate. I will say that, right? Hershey's not going to do it for you guys, right? There's a specific kind of chocolate. And I'm actually giving you guys access to a free guide where I'm going to write down all of this information, giving you 10 delicious, guilt-free chocolate recipes I'll drop that link for you at the end of this video so that you can grab that and know exactly what I'm talking about. So the right kind of chocolate actually contains some really important and active ingredients that are great for our health. And in what way, you might be asking, right? And are you surprised if you're on live? Let me know. Are you surprised that chocolate can actually be beneficial? Let me know. Drop a yes or a no. So here's a couple of the ways that it can be beneficial to our health. Chocolate can improve our mood. Now, when I'm talking about chocolate, 
And I'll tell you at the end, like the recommended amount and the type of chocolate. Okay, so keep that in mind and stick with me to the end because I'm going to give you that information. That information is crucial. Like I said, this is not about Hershey's chocolate. So you do want to know the right kind that we're talking about here. So we know that often for women specifically, and I hate to stereotype, but it is true, right? If we are feeling a little bit hormonal, we're feeling a bit moody, perhaps during our time of the month, but also um, menopause is a side effect of most breast cancer treatments. You may or may not have known that. So what does that mean? It means that we might be experiencing mood swings, right? And so very typically when we're experiencing these mood swings, these fluctuations in our hormones, we're actually craving chocolate. Some of that may be an emotional response, an emotional trigger. Some of it is an actual physiological trigger. Our body is actually craving something. Often, by the way, it's craving magnesium, just so you know. So we know that when we have chocolate, it boosts our mood. You probably also know that very often after we eat the chocolate, we beat ourselves up for it, right? So we want to eliminate that bit. And by eating the right kind of chocolate, we can do that. But it can actually also, the right kind of chocolate can help reduce stress and anxiety. Other side effects of our breast cancer treatment. And also side effects for those of us that are on aromatose inhibitors and estrogen blockers, um, you'll find right? That often one of the side side effects of those medications is is increased anxiety and stress and things like that. So imagine if a little bit of dark chocolate, yes, it's the flavonoids in dark chocolate that help to calm our nerves, lower our stress level. And that's why Chocolate has been associated with love and these feelings of well-being for however long, right? Decades and decades, if not centuries. Known as the love drug. It's not just because it's Valentine's Day. There's actually a link between the two, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we've got one of our viewers. Thank you for, for popping in here. Um, and feel free to pop your name. You don't have to. But yes, dark chocolate's good. And you may love all kinds of chocolate, but it's the moderation is an issue. Now, often when moderation's an issue, it's because we are trying to fill a void. Right. And especially I find for me when I have a little bit of cho- dark chocolate, that little bit is fine. It's the other chocolates that are loaded with sugars, loaded with chemicals, where it increases the addiction factor. OK, that's what we want to be careful with. That's why the dark chocolate is better. OK, so another benefit is it can actually help to maintain your heart health. And I've got my cheat sheet here, guys. You know what? I've been through breast cancer too. And I find that sometimes I need my cheat sheet. So I've got my cheat sheet here. Um, So if you see me looking down, I'm, I'm just checking it out, right? So dark chocolate has antioxidant properties. That's what we want. We want those antioxidants. They help to... Um, deoxidize our bodies, getting a bit sciencey in there, right? But what does that do? Those antioxidant properties actually help to prevent the blood from clotting, which is a problem for many of us, right? So if we're talking about heart health, we want our blood to be of a certain uh, viscosity to maintain that heart health. It can also help to protect the linings of our arteries. Pretty cool, right? Little bit of chocolate, not too much, little bit. So and a, a little bit of the chocolate, again, it's this moderation thing, right? As, as we were just talking about, the moderation um, can also help to maintain our cholesterol level. 
again, a Hershey's chocolate bar is not going to have those benefits. The opposite is going to be very detrimental to all of the things that we're talking about. So it's really important the kind of chocolate. I'm going to tell you specifically, um, you know, towards the end here. The other thing, one more thing that I want to share with you today is that, and wait for this, guys. You want to know this one. Trust me. The right kind of chocolate can actually help weight loss. What? Yes, it can actually help weight loss. Now, the chocolate that does not do that are those sweetened, low quality chocolates, and they are harmful right? Those are going to help us gain weight. However, eating high quality dark chocolate can help accelerate weight loss appetite. How amazing is that? So again, the right kind of chocolate and even the right kind of dark chocolate is really, really important. So now that you know those benefits, right, it helps improve your mood. I'm just going to tell you what's the amount that's beneficial. Yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna tell you that right now because I knew that would be a question. So thank you for asking. So let's just recap, right? It can help improve your mood. It can help maintain your heart health. And it can also help weight loss. Amazing. So what's the recommended quantity? and what type of chocolate. So out of all of the chocolates, the white, the milk, the dark, the one that has the most health benefits is dark chocolate. And we want dark chocolates that are labeled 70% or higher dark chocolate. It's got to be of that level. Now, some of the dark chocolates that are out there might just be 40%. That's not enough to get these benefits. My, my feeling is if I'm going to do it, let me do it right and let me get the benefits, right? Otherwise, I'm just putting sugar into my body. And I don't want that because it is harmful to our health. Sugar does not necessarily cause cancer. However, big however, sugar does cause inflammation. And inflammation is the root cause of all serious disease, cancer included. Okay, so when you see that sugar does not cause cancer, the sugar itself does not, but sugar does cause inflammation, inflammation, root cause of all serious disease. So the wording here is super, super careful. Now, how much Right, that's the question you'll want to know. How much? So, health experts tend to agree that the daily consumption of dark chocolate should be no more than 30 to 60 grams or one to two ounces a day. So, it's not very much. Not very much. And what I will also say. Um, and if you missed this earlier, let me tell you that often when we're craving sugar, it's because we're oftentimes magnesium deficient. So before you dive into the chocolate, or if you find that you're just craving more and craving more, craving more, I invite you to have 10 almonds. Get some magnesium. Have a drink of water. And the other big thing is ask yourself, are you eating to try and fill a void? Because we can't take the emotional component out of it. And in my experience, 20 plus years, there are four major triggers for these emotional things. And I like to say we, we flab it, F-L-A-B. And that's frustrated or fearful, lonely, angry, or bored. Those are the four biggest triggers for our emotional triggers for our eating. So if you find that you just want to keep going and you can't stop, say to yourself, hey, it's time to flab it. And ask yourself, are you frustrated? Are you fearful? Are you lonely? And we can be lonely with a ton of people around us. And this breast cancer journey is very lonely and very isolating. 
right? That's why I want to be in your corner. I'm here with you. I don't want you to feel alone. Angry. We can be angry because we got cancer. And we can be bored. When we finally sit down at the end of the night and we just want to eat. Often that's why that nighttime eating is so difficult. So let's just recap one more time. The right kind of chocolate, that dark chocolate, right? 30 to 60 grams a day or one to two ounces, depending on how you, you measure. That's a couple of squares. If you think of it as a couple of squares, that's about it. Um, can improve your mood, decrease your anxiety and your stress, can help maintain your heart health, can help with weight loss, hallelujah, and you can start to take control of your life and your health and not feel deprived. Pretty cool, right? Any questions for me on these chocolates before? Because I know that we've got some people on watching live with us today. Any questions before um, I make sure that you've got that link? Don't forget, I put a free guide together with you guys with all of this information and 10 love yourself silly, guilt-free chocolate recipes just for you to make for yourself. It's super easy, super quick and delicious. Yeah, I'll make sure that you've got the link wherever you're watching this. Any questions? I'm not seeing anything come in. So I will wrap it up there for today. Have a wonderful Valentine's Day. Show yourself some love. Give yourself a big hug, right? Because you deserve it. We don't have to look to others to give it to us. Give it to yourself. Give it to yourself. Okay? That's it for today, guys. I'll see you next Monday. Bye for now.